Okay, and uh, welcome, welcome back to us. A very, very good morning to you. It is a fr 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 Friday. It's April the 17th, and uh, we are at sea, as I said, all day today. It's uh, good. Are you okay there, Brett? I'm fantastic. It's, it's the excitement that you see around you. Live. It's this, it's this huge crowd that's got me going. The beauty of live TV. <laughs> oh! <laughs> almost, almost, almost unprompted. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> a few other people have wandered down now, so they've obviously uh, heard that there's such a um, uh, commotion taking place here in Club Fusion. <laughs> and uh, we're joined by uh, a very special guest this morning who, um, who has been conducting special interest lectures so far this cruise. Patrick McCormack, how are you? I'm doing fine, thank you very much. You, you can, can hold have, that. You can have that, actually. Hold that. Do you mind if I uh, bring my friend up on the table? No, it depends. What, oh, that's, yes. Oh. <laughs> Live TV, anything can happen. You, you never know. know. Um, <laughs> it's happened before. <laughs> no, th no, this is Edward Teach. He was with me on my first um, uh, talk topic this uh, cruise, uh, which was the Pirates of the Caribbean, and uh, Edward Teach, if ev everyone knows, was Blackbeard. Oh, I see. Sorry, I thought you said it was a passenger that you were talking <laughs> was so interesting that this is what happened to him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we won't talk about that. Um, and, of course, Blackbeard's skull was supposedly uh, silver-plated and kept somewhere as a drinking uh, utensil, but I know it's not true because Eddie's right here with me. Excellent. Anyway, oh, yeah, so, uh, do you have any questions for me? Uh, I do have a fair few questions for you. Um, what medication do you normally take? <laughs> No, sir. I've had the pleasure of cruising oh. with you um, before, and yes. uh, Thanks your, pres again. your presentations are always so well received. What, what got you into talking about the subjects that you talk about? Well, they're, uh, they're good topics for the area, obviously, um, and especially with the, with the pirates. And if, and if, if you were here uh, on that first one, I was actually in costume. <laughs> It was dressed it wasn't, as a pirate. You were, you know, that was funny. a few days back. Was, you were dressed as a pirate. I was dressed as a pirate. Um, and the pirates actually, although, you know, it's entitled Pirates of the Caribbean, and uh, we talk primarily about what happened in the Caribbean, uh, most of these pirates, Blackbeard and... Uh, um, Bluebeard. <laughs> Blue, yeah, Bluebeard, Avery, and uh, Jack, um, uh, Calico Jack and such, they actually did the whole coast of North America all the way up into Massachusetts and such. So it was a very easy topic to talk about. It's been, it's been an interest of mine for years, as well as uh, the second topic, which was on the pre-Columbian culture in the um, Antilles Islands or the, uh, uh, the eastern part of the Caribbean. Um, and the third topic, um, I mean, I'm, I'm getting, I'm get, which is, yeah, which is today, and I'm, I'm getting old to tell you, I, I've been thinking about this stuff for about 50 years. Okay, I was about a minus five, but when I, it's, it's going to be a Today's topic true, is true. ancient Atlantis. Ancient Atlantis, yes, we want to get to that topic. Ancient Atlantis from Plato to Edgar Cayce and beyond. Okay. So we're going to be talking about a few things, and if you're here for the pre-Columbian one, uh, I said that there were a few things that I brought up then that I'm going to tie in very nicely with the ancient Atlantis. So there's a whole lot more going on than I... Uh, what uh, most people think about, and I just want people to come with an open mind. They think they found Atlantis, so they're not. Did I read that recently? In fact, um, in Google Earth, you can actually, if you look closely at parts of right, the yes, ocean now that they've right. brought the ocean uh, onto Well, uh, Edgar Cayce, back in the 1930s, um, predicted that parts of Atlantis would appear off the islands of Bimini in the 1960s. And actually, they started finding a whole lot of roadways, buildings, and things uh, underneath the waters near Bimini. Uh, we'll have a couple of maps of that on the screen. And I want to remind everybody that this would be the westernmost corner of the Bermuda Triangle. And there are other devil's triangles around the, around the world, and I, that's actually another topic. But Bimini is only 38 miles from Miami, and when you think about it, we've got to be passing right by it. So, something else to think about on our last cruise day. That's a cheer on us right up at this wow. 